Hey everyone, this is Olivia Christian. I'm here repping for Hawthorne and I'm sitting with Carlos Du from Superbad Inc. Uh, Carlos, we're so excited to have you here today. Um, why don't we start off just, you know, have you talk about your beginnings in cannabis and uh, why you got into the industry. Carlos Du, I come from San Bernardino, which is known as the Inland Empire, which is 45 miles south of Los Angeles. Nice. Um, grew up there. Once I left high school, went to college. Um, you know, while I was in college, did everything I needed to do. I graduated, and then I decided I wanted to go into the sports industry. So my best friend at the time um, made it to the NBA, and another one of my roommates made it to the NBA as well. So that's what was my first start. I was managing them, and then as, as time goes on, from managing, we started representing players. And I uh, had a, uh, with a company called Impact Sports, became a big company, still going on today. But at one point, I just decided, you know what? In 2015, I decided, you know, let me figure this out. I heard about the gold rush, and that's what really got me got me going and said, let me let me get into cannabis. Right. And that was the start. Yes. Love that. Um, and how do you feel like your career in sports and like entertainment uh, influenced how you've navigated the cannabis industry? Uh, I, you know, I think they got a lot of similarities mm -hmm. in sports. Uh, our, our, you know, our group did 3.5 billion in deals while I was there. Wow. So <laughs> I, I took that same experience because you're still dealing with people every day. You're dealing right. with character. You're dealing with egos. You know, so sports, music, fashion, all that has intertwined to it. Right. So I just figured out how do I mesh it. If I Once I get into cannabis, I knew that it's the same similarities, and I'll be able to compare different a aspects of it. And that's what I really did. That makes sense. Yeah, that's awesome that you were able to do that. Um, you break down the structure of, like, what you do. I know we were kind of talking about vertical or talking about super bad, but can you explain that a little bit more for us? Okay. Uh, vertical Companies is a, a MSO, uh, one of the largest MSOs in the United States. Uh, I'm the president over there. And along with that, you know what? Because I'm in cannabis, I wanted to start a separate ecosystem. Superbad Inc. is part of that ecosystem. Right. That's my company, mm -hmm. my brand, and I wanted to separate everything. So what I did is I went out and signed 14 brands underneath, um, you know, all hip-hop, influencer brands. Can you shout some of them out? Uh, <laughs> no? <laughs> uh, I, 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 you know what I will do? I will shout out. I will shout out. Little Kim. Yes. AKA Aphrodisiac. I will I will shout that out. Nice. Uh, some of the happy other birthday, ones, Kim. Yeah, some, <laughs> happy birthday, Kim. Some of the other ones, um, you know, they're they're in the works. They're or they just we just doing everything slowly. Cool. You know, I try not to even let people know some of the names I'm not they don't right. people don't even know I'm behind them. Yes. Which I let them have their own space uh, and do that. That's great. Um, but I knew that, you know, this is the way of pushing and, and this is mm -hmm. the way to get uh blacks or minorities, yep. uh, Hispanics, uh, an opportunity to, to advance in this business. Absolutely. My goal is to be at the forefront. Yeah. So I'm, I'm willing to take all the rocks that it is just so everybody can have an opportunity to be able to have a seat at the table. That's awesome. Why? Black board seats matter to me. That's very yeah. important. And I think a lot of people don't talk about that enough. Right. And I'm on the board of a vertical, which is, you know, big MSO, I'm on the board. It's important. So, so, yeah, it's very important. To have that representation there and have it kind of start at the source. Um, I, I know I've noticed a lot of like bigger companies will have people of color at the very bottom. Right. Uh, but the higher you go, uh, the less people of color you see. Yeah. So, it's so, so we gotta break nice. that. We gotta break that barrier. Exactly. Which I love it. We're out here doing that. Yes. Um, so kind of going into that a little bit more. Um, I know you have some social justice initiatives that we I'd love to hear a little bit more about. Um, and you know definitely how that. And we just talked about how important representation is. Right. Um, but what social justice initiatives is super bad, or just you doing right now? Uh, right now, social justice issues that we're trying to tackle, um, we're actually trying to do something in San Bernardino. Nice. Uh, that's where I'm from. I mm -hmm. want to be able to give back. Uh, I want to be able to help, you know, the gang activity that's going on out there. I want to mm -hmm. be able to help them get jobs. I want them to understand that there is a way out of those situations. Right. I was once in that situation. I got out. That's my whole, that's my platform going to start. It's going to be called Rooted in Community, mm. um, SB, which means San Bernardino. Also, it means Superman. Yeah. So that's something I, I want to do. I think that's important. 
And I, I want to be able to, you know, I want to give jobs. Right. I want to be able to give jobs to, to those who go through the curriculum and That's understand. Important. And one day they'll be able to either work for Superbad or another cannabis company. One day they might be right here in Green Street. Right. They might, Let's they hope might so. work. They may work for Hawthorne. Yes. So. Shout out to Green Street uh, for providing the space that we're chatting in right now. And yeah, Hawthorne too. Hawthorne's up in here. Definitely want super bad up in here. Yes. It'd be great. Yes. It's a great little community. But, but that that's that's part of my, you know, social justice. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. And on that note, um, since you are like reaching back into your community, what what advice would you give these, you know, young black, not only growers, but people like myself who are in marketing, uh, doing cannabis marketing, people who are working at hydro shops, people who are, you know, trying to rise the ranks and you know maybe get on a board like you right. are. What uh, advice would you give them? Stay on the path. Stay out of trouble. That's key. Um, it's okay to smoke. It's okay to smoke. Um, in this industry, you can smoke. But then vice versa. You also could be a person where you don't smoke, mm-hmm. and you you are, some people are going to be about the money, some people are not going to be about the money. Some people don't understand this about medicine. It's all walks of life in this, in, but this is a real business, yes. and that's the most important thing that I want people to know. This is a real business. Professionalism. Uh, yes, professionalism, and don't let nobody uh, take your dream away. So if that's what your dream is to say, now you can be, like growing up, you say I want to be in the cannabis business. Right. Well, you know, as as when I'm growing up, I wanted to be. I want to be in the NBA. Right. Right. Somebody else wanted to be a doctor. Somebody else, you know, wanted to be in the NFL. But now, as growing up, you can say, I want to be in the cannabis industry. Right. Right. I know. It, it is exciting. I almost feel like this industry is my birthright in a lot of ways. And I, I don't know if you feel the same. Um, but, you know, I think the people who have been closest to the pain should be closest to the power as well. I agree. Um, so I think that it's really refreshing to hear that. You know, you're not only sitting at the top of this really big MSO, you're doing the work. Yeah, um, I come from poverty. I come from the war on drugs. Yeah. Bottom line. War, war on drugs bet over yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, we're so excited to continue to work with you and Superbad. And this is not the last time you'll be hearing from Carlos. So thank you so much for sending uh, me today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome.